Hey friends, we're out here today at the Henan Crystal Sands Resort on the island of Boracay in the Philippines. Now the Henan Crystal Sands is part of the Henan Group. It's an amalgamation of resorts here in the Philippines, actually only in the Philippines, the Henan Group. And this is one of the newer resorts here. Uh, we're going to be staying here for six nights, but want to give you an overview of the entire resort. And we will have a separate video up for a review of the room and the resort as a whole once we finish staying here. Um, so we're going to go inside, give you an overview of everything there is to offer, full overview of the resort, as well as look at the restaurants, the pool, and things like that. Um, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the video throughout. If you do, give us a thumbs up. We do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. It'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. Let's head inside. So we start at the entrance here to the Henan Crystal Sands Resort in Boracay. Uh, we're just kind of on the main road of Station One, and in order to get to the entrance of the hotel. We have to take this kind of miniature road, let's put it that way, uh, down to the end. Uh, if, if you book transfers with the hotel, they'll bring you directly to the front entrance. So there's nothing to worry about in that sense. And then we end up here at the front entrance of the hotel. It's a nice uh, subtle entrance, a little water fountain out the front, little foot wash. And this is exactly where they will drop you if you book the transfers. This is also just where they'll drop you as a whole anyway. And then we are into the lobby. So you've got check-in desks to the right. You've got a business center, a mini shop, and you can book your excursions down the back as well. Um, this is the kind of hangout area for you when you're looking to check in, check out, you're waiting on your excursions. Uh, business center, there was somebody in there at the moment, but uh, it's a worker, it's not a guest or anything. I'll just show you the mini shop, because it really is a mini shop. So you've got all the uh, little snacks and goodies. <laughs> Um, I might get, I might actually get, um, two, two, eight, so I'll get two of the small ones. Yeah. One, can I have a good one? Um, one, four. Um, no, it's, oh, one cold and one, um, just off the shelf, that's fine. So then you want the big one, or? Um, no, just those two, please. One plastic one. Um, no, that's fine, take up to the room. Um, can I just put that on my... So that's an overview of the shop. And then we're back out into the lobby. Uh, this is like the concierge desk where they'll keep hold of your bags for you. And then everything's kind of in separate buildings and whatnot. Your overviews of the rooms on the TV. So that's a premier room with pool access. Now we'll show you those in just a second to show you what that pool access means. Let's go outside here. So the hotel's kind of broken up a little bit. Uh, you've got staircases all around, you've also got lifts. You've got this beautiful water fountain and pond right at the front here with koi fish in. Uh, round to the left of the entrance, you do have restrooms, as it says on the sign, just a male and female restroom there. Stairs, as we said, that go up top. And then you've got uh, access to the rooms, the swimming pool, restaurant, and beachfront to the right, room access here. Uh, this is quite a convenient feature. They've got these water machines dotted all around the resort. So you can get uh, chilled or super cold water. Uh, and then let's take you in a lift up to our room and give you an overview of the room. So just in the lift, you got, I think like four lifts in the resort itself and they're, they're quite fast lifts just got to press the button and then we're straight up we are staying on floor three personally as i said water machines dotted all around you see the kind of layout that you have here now i will put down in the bottom corner 
what type of room we have because I've completely forgotten. Um, nice airy open nature here. A little courtyard overlooking, which is really nice. And then you've got your key cards. This is a neat little feature as well. So you've got your housekeeping or do not disturb. So we've got a button inside and we change it based on what we want. Let's take a look around. Right, they did bring all our bags in for us, which was very nice of them. We've got some storage area there. So let's just check out the bathroom quickly. Oh, look at that. So you got the full walk-in shower with rain head and detachable shower head. Single sink. And the little loo as well. Quite a few towels. Uh, shelving areas and whatnot. Nice. Nice. I quite like that. You've got all of your uh, wardrobe. You've got a little... Um, a couple of umbrellas as well, which is interesting. Loads and loads of storage area, a desk, nice full length mirror, not full length, but most length mirror. And then uh, got your TV there. Again, more storage area, which is fantastic, this. And the bed, so that's a, that's a king bed. So quite a sizable bed, let's have a quick look. So you got fridge freezer, or a fridge anyway. Oh, it is a fridge freezer. You got that small little uh, freezer pocket there in the corner. More storage and uh, kettle, cups, glasses, and your teas and coffees and whatnot. then your alarm clock. Look at this. That is so cute. That was just left in our room for us. Uh, not the best of views. We haven't paid for like the top, top view that you could get, but you do have a small, not necessarily a balcony of sorts, but you've got a little uh, clothes rack there, clothes horse, so you can dry your sun clothes and your swimming shorts and whatnot. So that's uh, just a quick overview of our room. So coming back out of our room, we're just gonna head slightly back on ourselves, back to the lift. So we're gonna take you up to the fourth floor because you've got the crystal ballroom up there. Just give you a quick glance at that before we go down and do the rest of the tour. So the crystal ballroom is located on the fourth floor. I'm assuming this is a private function room. It's closed off at the moment, but you can see, you can hire it out. They've got the buffet kind of pots down the back there, and a whole bunch of tables, and it opens up to the world there. Quite good addition that you've got here. Can fit quite a few people in there. They've got uh, two, four, six, about 10 tables set up with 10 people on each. So probably fit about 100, 120 guests in there. So that'll take you down to the first of the pools. This is the main pool of the resort. You can see all the way through the resort actually, looking at this right now. So we're back down on the ground floor. We're gonna walk through the main walkway. You do have walkways all around um, that take you sort of past the pool. They bypass the pool slightly. A few smoking areas now. The smoking areas aren't necessarily in the best places. But here you can see these kind of miniature balconies with closed horses. So I've got a few ways to get to this. Um, I'll show you in just a second. 
you've got an additional bank of lifts just here at the end. So if you wanted to use the upstairs area to come through and then take this bank of lifts down and then you will be right by the pool area. And what a pool area it is. You've got two pools here, each one slightly different. And you've got this walkway right through the center of it as well. Uh, this is the pool access rooms that we said about just a second ago. It's not easy to access from the middle here, but you've got sun loungers each side. And you do have pool view rooms as well, ones that do have balconies, but they don't have that same pool access. You see the pool access because you can see the steps just there, and it's directly into the pool, which is very nice and handy. A few loungers at the end, a couple of parasols and whatnot. great like infinity pool-esque vibe to it. One thing to note though, uh, we walked through here a couple of times last night and this was completely flooded. Um, you had a good inch or two of water that you were kind of wading through, which isn't the best, but it is what it is. So also down there at the beginning of the pool you do have the showers that you need to use before you walk in uh, you've got a couple of sun loungers on this side to use and they are resting in the pool and of course there's sun loungers everywhere uh, just down the back there you've got a couple of showers and you've got some restrooms as well I'll show you what I mean by that so restrooms just here and then you've got two showers so you've got an actual shower that comes out of the top and then you've got foot wash as well and you've got those at both ends of the pool um, these pool hours are 8 till 10 in this main one and then we'll take you over to the other pool in just a second All right, so as we leave the pool deck downstairs, we do have these lounge chairs at the back. Uh, and then we've got access down there to the beach, the restaurants. Just here to the left though, uh, and actually to the right, you can get up both sets of stairs here. You've got access to the function room, the sky pool, the gym, and the pool bar. I'm gonna take you up. We will come back down and show you the restaurant and the beachfront area in just a second. But as we're at the top, we've got a little land in here. Both sides are identical, uh, which means just here. These ones are called courts, and I believe the others have a different name. Um, but these are function rooms. There's two of those just there. You do have restrooms at the bottom as well. Then we'll head up the stairs. As I said, the other side is basically identical. They have a different name for the actual function rooms though. Come up here as we come out we've got a shower there and then access to the pool deck the sky pool so you've got a whole bunch of lounge chairs you've got a little seating area and the infinity pool overlooking the ocean it's the money shot that you have there we also do have a pool bar as well where you can get all your drinks. You can also get some snacks there as well. Restrooms just down the back and there's more showers sort of dotted all around. As I said, that is your money shot here. Looking over the ocean. And then just at the top here, you have the gym as well. The gym's open 7 a.m. till 12 noon and 3 p.m. till 8 p.m. But in here you've got a 
good view of the resort. Overlooking those pools, obviously you've got the palm trees there that block a little bit of the view, but that's a good overview as a whole. Heading back out, we do have more tables and chairs up here so you can eat your food and some more lounges. They're all covered, these ones. So you're not gonna be completely baking in the sun and this entire area has parasols galore. So let's head back downstairs and uh, show you the restaurant and the beachfront nature. So as we come back down to the main ground floor area, we've got uh, the restaurants, as I said, we've got a little photo opportunity here. And we've got the Sapphire Modern Coastal Cuisine. Now these fountains are really temperamental. Sometimes they're on, sometimes they're not on. Very, very strange. But this is the kind of thing that you pay for at this hotel. Access to the beach like this. We're gonna take you just quickly inside the restaurant here. This is the Sapphire Coastal. And they do give you a complimentary drink voucher to come here when you first come in and we'll take you inside and show you the breakfast offerings now. So we've got a salad bar station with all kinds of dressings for your salad as well. And then cold selection. Now we are at the end of the food service, so we're sort of starting to run out. We've got some cheeses and we've got hams. Just over here, we've got a couple of soups and more like soba section. Got some more Western offerings uh, hash browns, French toast, kiwi pancakes, waffles and normal American pancakes there as, long as, as well as your selection of condiments to go with them. You've got a range of eggs, bread pudding, scrambled egg, crepe station, sausage station, where they also have hams as well. And then uh, a few little small bites, bacon and egg sandwich, ginger cold soup, some yogurts in there. And then you've got um, cereals, as well as fresh milk and uh, chocolate milk as well. Fruit selection, again, remember we are at the end of our service here. So down this section, we've got what they're calling the vegan corner. So you've got chickpea curry, you've got roti pratta, we've got some samosas. Then we move on to steamed rice. Shanghai fried rice, chorizo loaded baked potatoes, um, some noodles, breadfish fillet in tartar sauce, chicken, barbecue pork, carne fritta. You can do your bread and toast selection here, as well as all your condiments to go on the bread with jams and peanut butters and all those kind of spreads. And then you've got a Danish section. So you've got quite a good selection of food and then you've got some juices over here as well iced coffee mango juice uh, gaiabano juice and then it should be pineapple juice in the corner so back outside you've got another restaurant here this isn't actually owned I believe by Henan but this is Golden Ocean uh, Kind of connected to the hotel but i don't think it's necessarily owned by the hotel uh, one thing of note uh, the sapphire restaurant every evening is a seafood dinner buffet uh, and these are the current prices of that and then you come out onto the beach and we're in station one here on the beach so you do have access to a number of restaurants that way uh, restaurants hotels bars all sorts along this it, the beach here is kind of treated essentially as a road. 
uh, just without cars, uh, and you've got access to a whole bunch of properties. Down there, there is a KFC, there's a Jolly Bee, so you've got your fast food and things, and then you've got your top restaurants as well. And then as we go the opposite way, you've got more of the same, um, but you also, there's a Starbucks down there. Uh, just through the tree line over there, there's a little dock for the boats, and those boats will be the ones that'll take you out on your excursions and things like that, that you can book at the hotel. So the likes of the helmet diving, the parasailing, uh, ATV tours, all of that lot, you can book either in the hotels, or you do have guys like this guy here in the red hat, which will hound you here on the beach to get you to purchase from them. And they will be all the way up and down the beach. We personally have booked a whole bunch of excursions, but we did those on TripAdvisor prior to coming to the Philippines. Uh, and it's up to you whether you want to take the risk and book it with one of these guys, or whether you are more comfortable pre-booking in advance so you know what you're getting and you can check the reviews online that way. But that is essentially the overview of the hotel. So that's the end of our resort tour of the Henan Crystal Sands here on the island of Boracay in the Philippines. Hopefully that's given you a good idea as to whether you would like to stay at one of these newer resorts in the Henan Group. There's not a significant amount to do in the resort itself, but what it does have is very pretty indeed. With the two pools, the one up on the sky roof here, and then the one, well, the two, I suppose, in the main center there, looking pretty amazing with those uh, rooms that can go straight there onto those pools. That's very cool indeed. You've also got the restaurant here just over my shoulder, the seafood buffet, and obviously you've got the breakfast buffet there each morning as well, which is included as part of your stay. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other offerings in the heading group, but hey, you're paying for looks and a fantastic, fantastic beach location in the process. So hopefully that has given you a good idea as to whether you would stay here or not. If you have enjoyed videos throughout, give a thumbs up. Do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. It'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks.